Hey guys, um, welcome to another edition of Now Playing the System. <laughs> so, we were going to answer the question whether or not I'm on testosterone. And before I even go into answering that question, I want to make it very clear that we are, for the purpose of this conversation, going to separate my identity from my biology. What I'm going to share doesn't give anyone license to disrespect my identity and um, yeah, and if you do, I'll block you, innit? So, there have always been differences in my body composition growing up. Um, like I mentioned in one of the past videos, my brother noticed first how quickly I developed muscle. My muscular growth is expeditious, to say the least. So yeah, there's always been a slight difference. One of the differences being the amount of body hair I have um, was assigned to polycystic ovaries that's what they said that I had growing up I was like okay cool that's why I have extra body hair this is a really difficult video to do actually I just I feel like I'm I'm really exposing myself so anyway <clears throat> yeah so I went to the to the GP to talk to them about my gender identity and the changes that I was seeing within my own physical um, makeup the changes were things like I noticed that my voice had changed, um, my jaw had become a little bit more um, defined. Um, what else? My body fat dropped to like um, less than 10%. Those of you on my Insta stories know McDonald's is life. I wasn't eating particularly healthily, but um, yeah, my body fat percent is dropped. I wanted to just make sure I guess that the, the foundations that we were building on was actually secure like what is going on with me right now the GP sent me to the endocrinology department I said that right I'm so proud of myself and um, they sent me to end see fucked it up I shouldn't have gloated me I shouldn't have gloated went to the endocrinology department I had my first consultation and it started with a chat and then a physical examination I remember the consultant saying to me first of all she asked me how often I worked out at the time the answer was I haven't worked out in over a year she was like okay then she asked me whether or not I had been taking testosterone um so no nah, I haven't been prescribed any yet then she asked if I was on performance enhancing drugs again the answer was no so this medical professional was standing there looking at me and she says um you don't present like a cis woman at all. I'm like, <laughs> that's exactly why I'm here, love. Yeah, so we went away, we did some tests. Um, these tests have been going on for 18 months or so now, if not a little bit longer, to be honest, I'm bored of it. They did another scan. I don't have polycystic ovaries. And then they did some other tests. I was hooked up to a drip and they um, ran a synthetic hormone through the drip. Um, to see how my body responded to the hormone. Is, ugh, I'm not a doctor. So the results came back of the test um, and I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that the results would confirm that I was intersex or something because then I could be like, aha, see? Yeah, they still don't know what's going on to be honest with you. My testosterone levels are they said slightly elevated but nothing remarkable but there are two other hormones that are elevated and have been claiming since we started doing this um these tests one of the hormones is yes of the letters one of the hormones is d-h-e-a-s i'm not even trying to be silly they literally just typed it in in capital letters i think it's dehydro epiandro just something and then the other one was andro stayed in the Again, again, I'm not a doctor, but yeah, apparently those two things are high, uh, which is why there are changes happening that you can see, that we can all see, but we don't have any answers for. The good news is that none of these things mean I'm going to die, which was pretty much why I went in the first place. I don't care, like, I don't care. I kind of 
wanted an answer in order to be able to deliver a fantastic explanation as to the, these are my biological and genetic differences and therefore you must accept me for who I am. Uber is 2020 um, and you will accept me because you will, not because there's some sort of medical explanation. No, no. The big question is, why are we seeing all of these changes now? Um, for more on that, stay tuned next time on... No. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that every video. As usual, if you have any questions, if you want me to clarify anything, if you want to throw out an opinion, which is a risky thing to throw out, but if you want to throw out an opinion, I'm here, I'll talk, I'm open, I'm transparent, I'm honest. Oh, and like all other YouTubers, like, subscribe, hit the notifications button, whatever, man. Catch you next time, peace.